Hey guys, welcome to another VectorMade tutorial. Today I'd like to talk about options for taking your artwork and placing it into a perspective um, plane or changing the perspective of your artwork. So uh, let's just take a look at this logo that I built a few years ago for a, a client of mine. And um, Right now you would say this is just on a flat plane, just sort of staring at you, um, nothing special. But say you wanted to show what this was going to look like on their new office uh, wall here. Uh, well, there's a couple things you could do to make that happen. I'll kind of show you the, the quick one first and then the one that takes a little more setup but that is a little more accurate second. So first, the quick one, I'm just going to click and drag this logo down here um, just so it's on the wall. And then I'm going to hit E on my keyboard to bring up the free transform options. Here they are. Um, the first one is just a regular transform. The second one is a perspective distort. And the third one is a free distort. Perspective will take uh, whatever um, corner that you drag and it will drag the opposite corner um, either vertically or horizontally. So if I click and drag up, the bottom one goes down, If you can, as you can see. So um, tries to keep everything in perspective. And, it, and, it, and it'll look okay if when we're done here. You'll see... Um, let me shrink it down just maybe a tad, but there, that's kind of what it looks like on their wall. I mean, that's not, that's not too bad really, because this plane is somewhat even, um, from the, the slope here to the slope here. It, it's not perfectly even, obviously this slopes in um, a much higher, uh, angle and this is a little bit lower angle, but, um, so they're close enough that I think you could get away with this if you're just doing a proof. Like here, that's what it looks like. Great. Save yourself some time. But let's back up. Say you want to make it you know, perfectly in line with this and in line with that. What you want to do is grab your perspective tool, which can be found over here or shift P. Just click it. And as you can see, I've already kind of done some setup on this. Um, but just so you get an idea of what to do here, uh, this is sort of where you move the whole grid around. So if I click and drag on this point, I can move this entire thing. And I usually want, you know, if I'm just going to do one wall, I just kind of want to put it in the middle here, line up the middle of the grid tool with uh, whatever I'm doing. And and as you can see, this this line here is a little bit low when it comes to that point. I need to come up just a tad. And this one looks okay but maybe it's just a tad low as well um, how you would handle that is with this right here which goes we'll bring that plane up or down see how that's changing my grid here and then this one will pull it out if you need to as well so let me just kind of make a couple quick adjustments actually I like that that looks really good done now this could take a while to do so just play around with these points until you get a feel for it um, but this is the basic gist of it is that you kind of place it where you want and then sort of mess around with these points until you get this plane that's exactly like the shape behind it right so if we now we want to go in here to a perspective selection tool and I want to make sure that the grid that I am wanting to place my artwork in is selected so if this is your left grid and you would only be able to place things over here. This is your right grid. You would only be able to place things over here. And then this is your horizontal grid, um, which would only be able to place things down here in this sort of green area. Um, so we just want to do the right grid for this one. And then if I click on the artwork, you'll see that immediately it starts to put it inside of that grid. So as I drag it down, it will remain inside of this plane. No matter where I am, it's going to keep it in this plane, which is really cool because if you want to go back and change some things, you can move it around and it, it will remain the same size relative to where it is in the existence of that plane, right? So if I'm over here, technically my artwork looks smaller, but in a three-dimensional space, it would be the same size here as it would be over here, just like in the real world, right? But you want it to look legit if it's on this. So anyway, um, if I place it here and let go, then I've got these little handlers on the, on the corners here. I can click, and I'm holding Shift 
and Alt to get uh, a um, uh, even distribution of my uh, resizing there. So I kind of just want it to be in the middle and about there. Anyway, let's click off of the perspective grid tool. One thing you have to do is click this little X over here to hide the grid tool. It's kind of annoying, but whatever. And I miss it all the time. It's very small. Um, so there, that's kind of what our artwork looks like now with having used the perspective grid tool. So, um, you know, leave a comment down below, ask any questions. I love getting back to you guys. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.